commentators on telecom transformation, STL Partners is interested to understand how change is communicated and reflected at Telcos. We recently undertook a review of 10 Telcos strategic objectives and associated metrics to evaluate how these were changing in the face of network and organizational transformation and whether telcos were communicating change in a broad sense to shareholders and external stakeholders. Our sample included a spread of telcos, two challenger telcos, Rocket and Mobile and Reliance Geo, three European telcos, KPN, Deutsche Telekom and Telia, two North American telcos, AT&T and TELUS, and three Asia-Pacific telcos, Singtel, Telstra, and Spark New Zealand. In our analysis, we identified nine themes across telco strategic objectives. We further classified these into three buckets. Defensive themes, how telcos are defending traditional business areas, i.e. securing financial well-being, improving infrastructure, and driving core connectivity services. Environmental, social, and governance themes, which were high on everybody's agenda. Progressive themes, themes that represent Telco's efforts to do something different to the North, illustrating Telco adaptability and proactive attempts to future-proof the business. It seems obvious to state, but to avoid doubt, Telco objectives and metrics reflected the core business in the first instance. Six telcos reported measures across all three defensive domains, financial well-being, infrastructure, and core business growth. All 10 telcos had objectives and or metrics relating to the improvement of infrastructure, either fiber, 5G specifically, or the mobile network as a whole. They were targeting and reporting on coverage or performance, or both. Infrastructure is required to support the maintenance and growth of the telco customer base. The 5G and fiber investments are particularly key to future-proofing the core connectivity business. It demands significant capital investment, hence it makes sense for telcos to communicate ambitions in this regard. Financial well-being was emphasized at 8 out of the 10 telcos. Objectives regarding efficiency were particularly pronounced, and while profitability was mentioned, in terms of associated telecoms metrics, operators seem to be reliant on cost reductions as a way to improve profitability. Spark New Zealand and Telstra were the only two operators that did not have objectives that were overtly focused on growing core business. Their objectives focused on improving experiences for existing core business customers as opposed to growing the customer base itself. ESG is important to all telcos. 10 out of 10 telcos communicated ESG objectives, particularly in the area of sustainability and the environment. Reported metrics included progress towards carbon neutrality and reductions in greenhouse gas emissions. Seven telcos had objectives regarding their role in society. Some had broad objectives, such as driving digital inclusion and making the world a better place, with associated KPIs around charitable efforts and volunteer work. But for most, seven of the 10, the emphasis was improving gender representation in their organizations, particularly at senior levels. The four progressive themes that emerged from telco objectives and metrics emphasized where and how telcos were adapting in the face of market conditions. Six operators, had objectives or metrics that focused on growing revenue beyond the core. These telcos expressed ambitions to extend established businesses in adjacent non-connectivity areas like ICT, health and agriculture, as opposed to monetizing new innovations. Seven telcos reported efforts to build internal capabilities in at least one of three categories, technology, processes and people. In terms of technology, four telcos communicated the steps they are taking to transform the organization's tool sets. Examples include Telstra's 100% API-first architecture. Spark is targeting to predict a percentage of customer needs via data and AI, while Deutsche Telekom is expanding its rollout of its single view of the customer platform, Magenta View, and Telia is aiming for a percentage increase in intelligent automation. 
Regarding processes, five telcos were focused on process improvements. Telia, Spark New Zealand and Telstra had metrics related to agile working. KPN was targeting faster fibre rollout and Deutsche Telekom wanted shorter time to market on software-driven solutions. From a people perspective, four telcos reported metrics in relation to recruitment and training objectives to bolster internal capabilities. Singtel reports on the number of new hires in tech-related roles and training investment, for example. Telstra wants to increase the representation of data and analytics skills in its workforce. In the category of customer experience improvement, six telcos named objectives. KPIs were typically based on survey data, i.e. customer satisfaction scores or net promoter scores. But two telcos, Telstra and Spark New Zealand, had ambitions regarding the delivery of digital experiences to drive customer satisfaction. They targeted increased app usage and increased usage of digital sales and service channels to ensure the type of experiences customers demand of technology companies. Six telcos had ambitions regarding employee experience improvements. KPM, Telstra and Telia highlighted employee engagement as a key metric for them, while Spark New Zealand favoured an employee net promoter score. Employee support is another area that telcos were looking at. Singtel had metrics to ensure the mental well-being of its workforce, while Deutsche Telekom wanted employees to feel that their digital tools supported their work. Singtel, Spark and Telstra specifically signalled the importance of their employees in their objectives. Singtel, as the champion of people advancing diversity, equity and inclusion, Spark creating value for its people and Telstra being the place you want to work. This could be part of their strategy to attract and relate that retain talent. Progressive themes were most prevalent at four operators, Telia, Deutsche Telekom, Telstra and Spark New Zealand. These telcos appear more open with stakeholders about how they are future-proofing their organisations than other telcos in the sample. As the saying goes, if you cannot measure it, you cannot improve it. Metrics are important to drive desired operator outcomes be that organization change or business outcomes. It is STL's view that the external and internal communication of objectives and telecom metrics adds weight to the level of organizational commitment to change. By openly stating objectives and measuring progress, telcos can look forward to better buy-in and collaboration from those involved in the change. Some in the industry are starting to put this into practice.